We heard about there's a new song for Turlock. Uh, is this an yeah. up, uplifting spiritual? How is the what? What is this? This song just happened to come out at the perfect timing. Uh, I asked a, an army sergeant to uh, write a song about Turlock and play it for my first state of the city, which was in February. And from that, it evolved into a CD and a video that uh, they, they're putting out today. And it just talks about Turlock, which is the best of the earth and the best of each other. And it's, it's a great timing for us to have some positive feelings. Where can people uh, listen to that? Is, is that gonna be on the city's website? It should be, I hope, uh, but YouTube as well. Um, there's a link for YouTube and it's called Best of Each Other, the oh, song. Okay, very good. Well, I'm glad you had time to mention that. Next one coming in for you, Amy, is uh, what do you see a new normal looking like? Uh, let's go, uh, I know I threw out June 1, but we kind of talked about that date. What date would you like to talk about for a new normal? Uh, I wish it would be tomorrow, but uh, yeah. not, that's not really. So I, I suggest to you that a new normal is, is not, there's going to be phases and stages of normal for everyone. And, and I, I go back to uh, cancer has affected many people, but COVID-19 has affected everyone. I don't see a normal for us until probably August, where everybody's starting to get comfortable moving around, uh, still using social distancing and things. But my fear is that it's going to recycle for the, the fall and people are we're going to have to hunker down again and, and anticipate more, more people being sick. Yeah, I can only imagine what a second stage of this sometime in the winter or fall, uh, how this is all going to fly if we have to do this all over again, the same thing. Um, for, and talking about new normal restarting, next text. Uh, what businesses in Turlock, or would you guess anywhere, are going to be the first ones in the next phase to reopen? Well, according to the phases for the, the governor, uh, it, it looks like you're just moving out just a little bit. But I, I suggest to you that, that most people would consider themselves uh, needing a haircut uh, or color, barbershop, things of that nature that are actually not put in until phase two. So I'm hoping that he reconsiders that if everyone can comply with some different uh, rules about wearing you know, PPE. Okay, next one, uh, testing centers for people in Stanislaus County or Turlock specific, uh, what's open? So we have three now. We have one in uh, Salida, which is like the, on the outskirts of um, our, right at our cusp of two counties, Stanislaus and San Joaquin. We have one in Keys, which is right between Ceres and Turlock. And then another one over in Patterson, which covers the far over by, um, Newman and Patterson. So we'll have three right now. Okay. Uh, we're getting a lot of questions from people too uh, when we interview mayors uh, about the homeless situation. Um, what, what, is, what are you doing? Can you do anything for the homeless regarding coronavirus? So the governor's told us not to move them. Uh, if, they've, if they put themselves in their own places, not, moving them will just uh, create more positives. So at this point, we do have an organization um, that is providing food on a daily basis where they can come and get it. But at the same time, we're not trying to uh, move them unless it's a hazard from the sides of the roads and things of that nature. Okay.